Hi, I'm Melanie from Nova Scotia, Canada, and this is Adventures in Grocery Land. Our $45 grocery budget challenge is over, and it's been over for a couple of weeks now. It lasted mm, four months, four months, yeah, 12 weeks. So we're just kind of getting back into what is our normal going to be. And I spent approximately $85 this week. We um, did a stock up. You will see one of the main reasons why it was a little bit higher. Well, we had some great meals this week. Check out what we were able to um, purchase and the meals that we had. For dinner today, it is a craft dinner cup for me and a Crave dinner for the handsome one. His needs to go back in for a little bit, but I wanted to take the video because mine's ready to eat now. Totally unplanned, but I happen to find myself in town. Tomorrow is Canada Day, so the stores are going to be closed. And I think I'm a little bit too early to see if there is any markdowns. That often happens. So day before a closure, they will mark down perishables um, to make sure that they go to customers instead of expire on the shelves unsold. So I'm going to head in and check out. I'm at Sobeys right now. I'm going to check out Sobeys. Um, and when I'm done here, I drive by Superstore on my way home. So I'm going to check there as well. And we are going to see what we might be able to find. I'm actually coming into Sobeys. I'm looking for a deal in particular that I saw on the flyer it was purchase three and they're like little hors d'oeuvres fancy like things that you put in the freezer but then they go in the oven um, tomorrow is Canada Day we don't often have little treats like that but I saw that if you buy three you get 800 bonus points uh, I could redeem a thousand that I already have and when those points replenished into my account I would be almost at equal. So I'm going to see, they say they start at $5.99. So I'm going to look, um, three, that would put three of them at $17.97, no, six one eighteen. Yeah, $17.97. Um, and if I used a thousand points to save $10, that would bring it down to $7.97 for three little boxes of um, specialty hors d'oeuvres. So we'll see what they have. Okay, that was somewhat of a bust. Uh, I should have known better when it said starting at $5.99. One package, one. One package was $5.99, definitely not anything I was interested in. Everything else was $7.99 or $8.99. And when you're paying full price for something like that, um, for me, I, I just watched the sales. So that was no, no good deal. So that was a no. However, I did get some marked down chicken wings. I'm excited about that. We haven't had wings in a long time. That'll be great for... Canada Day, a little Canada Day fun. Maybe we'll have that tonight. I don't know. Maybe we'll have it tomorrow. So that was a win. So I see that the Tracel spreadable cream cheese is on two for seven dollars. And I thought, oh, I think I have coupons for those. And when I got them out, they're pretty freaking awesome coupons. So save two dollars. So I'm going to get two packages for seven dollars and then I'm going to save four. Ooh, I think. I think I'm going to get fine herbs and sun ripened tomato. So far this week I've spent $83.69. That's a little high, even for me. I've shopped at five stores, Costco, and that right there should be an indication of perhaps why this was a little bit more of expensive as a shop than normal. Uh, Foodland, Giant Tiger, Superstore, and Sobeys. So let's take a look at what I got. I got these pretzel crisps. We really like these. You can buy them in the store. I see them in um, the flyers sometimes, but the packs are much, much smaller. This is about twice the size of what you would get at the grocery store, and those were $7.99. We got these avocado toast crackers. Ooh, very fancy. And what I like about buying crackers like specialty crackers at Costco is they often come packaged like this so two different packages you're not having like one big open um gonna go stale before you eat them package so I like that those were $12.99 so that's a little pricey even for me that's pricey but these are specialty cracker I'm excited we're gonna get back into doing some charcuterie boards so this will be nice 
And then we got these, um, these trail mix. These are like lunch snacks. Oops. So I just want to show here. So there's 28 separate packs inside of there. They contain, there's nuts, um, peanuts, M&Ms, raisins, almonds, and cashews. They were $21.99 for these. It worked out to 70 cents a snack. So that's a little more than probably what I would normally spend, probably what I would normally spend. I don't spend that much on snacks, but I don't often buy trail mix of snacks. So that's a little bit different than something like a cookie or a pudding. Now they did have big bag packages of this, like kind of the same style as these pretzel crackers, like a big bag of it. It was a much better value. My concern with something like that is where they're not individually packed, we would just eat them until they were gone. And then they wouldn't be there for what I'm hoping to have these for is work snacks or, or daytime like snacks to go with our lunch. We'll see if we like these. And if we do, I'll contemplate purchasing the big one and then kind of subdividing them into little packages myself. Let's see how that works out. So my total at Costco was $42.97 in just those three items there. So that's where all of this overage came from. Uh, I bought spinach. It was on at Giant Tiger for $2.47. We bought hamburger buns. It was on at Foodland for two for $4. So we got hamburger. I shopped at Superstore and I was fortunate. Um, there were some markdowns because Canada Day is tomorrow. So I got croissants for $2.99. I got danishes. That's a big treat for us for $2.99. Uh, regular price for the lactose-free yogurt, $3.29. I got some awesome looking radishes. Something you may not know about me because I don't typically buy these in the winter when they're crazy expensive. I love radishes. I love, love them. I love to have them just for a snack and I'm really excited because those ones looked really good. And then here is that cream cheese that I got for an amazing price. So these were on two for $7 and I had $2 off coupons. They only had the two flavored kinds, so I got one of each. It worked out um, after the coupons went through to $1.50 a package. And so we have all of the crackers. Now we need some spreadable cheese for on the crackers, so this worked perfect. I said we're going to start getting back into perhaps some boards. Um, this is called Sikorsky De Brancina sausage. I don't even. I'm saying that totally wrong. Two dollars and eighty-nine cents. I got some Chris Brothers mild pepperoni. Two dollars and thirty-four cents. And my grand total at the superstore was twenty dollars and forty-nine cents. I think that's pretty good for all of those items. And then I shopped at Sobeys. They had member only in the flyer so that would be swipe your scene card and you could get these family size Lay's chips for $1.99. Now Lay's chips are probably my least favorite. The handsome one loves Lay's chips. I don't know. I just I like other kinds better. Let me I don't dislike them. I just like other kinds better and I find Lay's pretty expensive. So I didn't actually have this on my list. I was going to get chips at Superstore but they were just the regular size packages for the same price. So this was a better value, um, the family size for the same price. So that's what I got at Sobeys, $1.99 each. And I was looking through like the meat counters to see if there was any markdowns. And I got these two packages of maple chipotle wings. So $3.28. And this one is 320 grams. This one was $3.32 and 322 grams. So this is about 640 grams of wings. I couldn't resist looking at what wings cost. You know, the box kind that come in the freezer that have the sauces on them. They were on sale this weekend because it's Canada Day for $14.99. And there was 800 grams in the box. So I think for $6 and about 50 cents, 
and I'm getting 640 grams. I did really well. I'm excited about these. I actually called the handsome one on the way home and told him that I had wings and we were going to have them for supper. And then I also got mussels. Mussels were on sale this week for $2.29 a pound. They had only two sizes to choose from. You could get two pound packages or five pound packages. And for just the two of us, two pounds would work absolutely perfect. And we were trying to speculate on if we went to a pub and ordered mussels as an appetizer, we are thinking that they're probably around $10.99 or $11.99 a pound now. So for $4.58 for two pounds, and I'll just do the work myself, uh, I think that's pretty outstanding. So this was a great haul, a little bit different than my normal haul, but I feel comfortable doing this because now that we have access to everything in the house, I just have so many things that we can choose from. It gives me the flexibility to buy some treats, to get some wings, to get some mussels, to stock up on some snacks. I'm excited about all of this stuff. Yay, it was a good shop. We are going to get these wings ready and we are having them for supper tonight. Exciting. I, when's the last time we had wings? Do you remember? It's been a long time. <laughs> it's been a long time. Checking on the wings. We think that they should go in for another five minutes and then we'll be ready to eat. Yummy. These look pretty tasty. I should have done an unboxing. We're going to try this. So feedback. It was extremely, extremely difficult to get the foil off of the package. And when we did, there was a thin layer of liquid on top of the cream cheese. So we had to stir it, stir that in. Looks good. Um, we're going to taste test. Okay, the feedback. Not exactly the taste I thought it was going to be. Um, I don't know if I would buy this flavor again. We'll... I'll be interested to see when we open the other one what that one's like, but we're not opening it now. Just letting other people in my house know we're not opening it now, but also everybody else that we're not opening oh, it, it now. Like fish. So the handsome one thinks it tastes like fish. I think it tastes like, like a little bit like tomato flavored cheese whiz. This is the first moderately nice day that we have had in weeks. It's not even that nice. It's just nice because it's not raining. So we are having a picnic. We made sandwiches with the croissant and some ham that we had left over um, from a previous week. I used half of that little Southwestern um, salad kit that we got last week, the end of last week. And we have these to have as well, the little trail mix, mix snacks. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited that it's not raining. Really looking forward to this. Exciting. Fun day. It's Canada Day. Happy Canada Day. This is what the trail mix looks like. Pretty good size. Everything. It's Canada Day and for supper tonight we are going to have nachos. I am going to cook this one hamburger patty which is just all beef hamburger patty no other additives and we will have cheese and onions peppers we don't have any mushrooms but this will be good it'll be good without mushrooms ready to go in the oven this has on it uh, orange pepper jalapenos in with the one hamburger patty that I cooked there was onions I also added cheese and we will have homemade salsa to go with this. I decided to add some bacon bits on at the last minute. Here are the nachos and we are going to have it with homemade salsa. Simple lunch today. We're just having hamburgers. Tonight we are going to have mussels and garlic butter for supper. I normally steam mussels in water and that works just fine, but when I happen to have some homemade wine, and I have some right now, I use that instead. I received this platter as a gift 23 years ago. It makes more sense when I have more than two pounds of mussels 
but it is my favorite platter to serve mussels on. It's perfect because it has this little lip. Anyways, favorite platter. Butter, diced garlic or minced garlic, and parsley. I'm going to microwave these for about 30 seconds. I'll check it. That should probably be enough. And then we will have mussels and garlic butter. We used just over half of the package of salad mix. I used all of the bacon bits that came with it and all of the little um, tortilla chips that came with it. So I added to this one radishes, orange pepper, tomato, some onion. I have some nuts and some cranberries and we will use the rest of this dressing and have this with sausages today. Sausages and garden salad. I've got potatoes cut. I have tossed them in oil. I'm going to put these in the air fryer for home fries. We are going to have chicken burgers just baked in the oven and we are also going to have cauliflower and I'm going to put a cheese slice on it to melt to give it a little bit of a cheese slice. See cheese sauce. For anyone new to my channel, my little trick for cheese sauce is a cheese slice. So the cauliflower is already cooked. You can see that it's hot. Put the cheese slice in, put the lid on, and then I let the heat from the cooked vegetables melt the cheese slice, stir it up, cheese sauce. Chicken burgers, cauliflower in cheese, and home fries. I am making tuna wraps for lunch. I have the tuna with a little bit of mayo, some diced dill pickles, and some lemon pepper. I have with it the left leftover romaine. I have orange pepper, some tomatoes, and I haven't decided if I'm going to put onions in it or not. Tuna wraps and cheese for lunch. I haven't really talked much about the garden yet this year it I feel like it's been raining for a month straight three weeks at least um, everything's not doing the greatest because we haven't had a lot of sun these here are some spinach that I'm trying to grow I want to put in my raised beds um, these big ones here so here 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 and this one here on the end those are pumpkins and these little ones those are cantaloupe so we'll see how those come along I only have one planter container as of now and it is green onions it's doing okay but again it, it really needs some Sun um, the rain has been doing horrible for everything this is my raised bed these two monsters right here I started from seed they are Swiss chard and then this little row Right there's also Swiss chard. I, I can't remember. The handsome one planted this, so I'm not sure what else is in here. But we had quite a few more Swiss chards than these, but we had a mishap inside. So that's what was left of the two seedlings we started, and then hopefully we get some more here. Pretty much every single thing in the garden needs to be weeded, but it's just been way too wet. We have some beans planted here along the fence. Um, we also have down here a few zucchinis, four zucchini plants. We planted from seed um, some cucumber and a few other things and you can see they are starting to come up. The peppers are doing really good and we planted all of those from seed so the seedlings did great. I'm excited about that. Um, we put in some strawberries last fall, last year, I guess, in the summer, and they are doing amazing. But we have some little squirrels and chipmunks that keep stealing the berries, even the unripened berries off of there. Tomatoes are doing great, um, but these aren't from seed. We had started all of the um, three or four different kinds from seed, and... We had a mishap. The seedling tray got left outside um, and it frosted. So the rest of these are either trades that I did, things that people gifted, or some discounts um, from the local garden center. 
Tonight for supper, we are cleaning out some leftovers, the last two croissants made into sandwiches with the leftover salad from yesterday. It wasn't quite enough for supper, so to go with it, I just made a can of soup, and this was just canned vegetable soup. I'm actually excited about this. Spaghetti for lunch today. This is the absolute last of that can of pasta sauce that I had opened. I melted a cheese slice in here, but that didn't go as good as what I thought, and it's a little bit clumpy. I added on a little bit of spices, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, and some bacon bits. Random, I know. In the flash food box that I got last week, there were beets. I've cooked a variety of different things. But the only way I've ever cooked beets were to make beet pickles. So preserving them um, and having them as like a side with a meal. So I was really happy to get a lot of feedback from subscribers suggesting different ways that we could eat these. One of the ways that I am going to try was suggested to roast them with sweet potato. So I didn't have any sweet potatoes. But they are in season right now, so I was able to get one um, for around $2 at Avery's, which is a local farmer's market. We are going to dice this. So I've already got it washed. It says to leave the skin right on. That's fine. Peel these and then dice them. Toss them in oil. Um, sprinkle garlic on top. Salt, pepper, parsley. You know, just basic seasonings and roast at 425 degrees. And a lot of the recipes, so I did Google this, even though um, it was suggested, I still didn't really know what to do, how what the temperature was, how to cook it. And a lot of the recipes that came up when I Googled it, and it's called sweets and beets. Big thing. Who knew? Okay, so I cut up half of the sweet potato, and if you can even believe it, that was one of the smallest sweet potatoes that I could get. They were either like teeny, teeny, super tiny or way bigger so I cut up half of the sweet potato this is two of the beets I added some oil some garlic it's minced garlic once I get it on the tray I'm going to add salt and pepper and probably some parsley so this is the diced sweet potato and the beets the sweet potatoes have turned color because I put them in a bowl and stirred the oil in and stirred in the garlic. So, of course, a little bit of the beets went on to the sweet potatoes. We put them on the tray. Then we sprinkled with salt, parsley, and pepper. And all of the recipes that I've looked at say parsley doesn't really change the flavor. It's more for aesthetics. So I was heavy-handed with the parsley. We wanted to get the beets in first because we knew that they would take longer. The recipes call from anywhere from like 20 to 35 minutes um, but we're having this tonight with our breaded honey and chipotle salmon and we're just going to put this in the uh, the air fryer look at the steam rolling off of those this was at the 20 minute mark we're flipping them and they go back in and, and the recipe says for 15 minutes so that's what we're going to do i know this is a little bit of an unusual combination i also made some tartar sauce. It is mayo, mustard, pickles, dill, and a little bit of the dill pickle juice. I'm excited about this. I am starting to make a wrap for lunch today. This is ham and spinach, green peppers, red onions. I think I might have a little bit of tomato left. I'm not sure, um, but this is lunch. We are having hamburgers on the barbecue for supper tonight. For once, it is sunny out and it is extremely hot. We don't know if it's gonna start raining again, so we are definitely taking advantage of this barbecue weather. And I made some pasta salad to go with it. I'm just gonna put this in the fridge to chill. Burgers and pasta salad for supper. I am going to make some cranberry pepper jelly. I have here a half a cup of cranberries, finely chopped, and three quarters of a cup of cider vinegar. 
already in my pot I have three quarters of a cup of a combination of red peppers and jalapeno peppers and it can be any combination just three quarters of a cup I'm going to add the diced cranberries oops I'm going to add the diced cider vinegar I'm also going to add um, a little bit of red pepper flakes and then I'm going to bring this to a boil for 10 minutes. Here I have three quarters of a cup of red peppers and jalapenos mixed. It was about a half a jalapeno and the rest is uh, red peppers and a half a cup of diced cranberries and three quarters of a cup of cider vinegar with a quarter of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. I'm going to bring this to the to a boil. We are at about the halfway mark here, boiling for 10 minutes, and then I need to add uh, the sugar. It is boiling away, starting to foam a bit. Um, I have three more minutes on my timer. Uh, don't worry about that foam. As soon as I set the camera down and lift this off the burner, I'll be able to stir that away. I couldn't remember exactly how much quantity wise this made and I didn't want um, huge containers of it because sometimes something that's a specialty thing like a cranberry pepper jelly you're just not going to eat that much of it in one sitting so I spread this out over three jars um, they can go right in the fridge I don't know if I'm going to gift them uh, it's possible that these might self seal, but I doubt it. I just kind of wanted to, this was an experiment. So this was experiment number one, cranberry red pepper jelly. We had a fantastic week. I was able to make um, the beginning of some fun preserves for the summer. Uh, we'll see, we haven't eaten the test yet, but we'll try the test and we'll see if that's something that we will continue with uh, moving forward. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would really appreciate it if you would do so. Share the videos, leave your comments. Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic weekend.